Hi 3JV, this is a video I'm creating on my iPad. It's how to work out change and this is only one possible way you could use of many ways to work out change. Okay, so let's pretend that I go to the shop and at the shop I buy, hmm, I'm going to buy an ice cream and my ice cream costs one dollar and forty cents. I go to my purse and inside my purse I have only got a two dollar coin. Okay, so I give my two dollar coin to the shop assistant for my ice cream that cost one dollar forty and I need to get some change. How much do I get? Well, if we take the two dollars from that, if we take away the dollar forty from the ice cream, we can work it out. Okay, so let us use a vertical subtraction. Zero, take zero, or nothing, take nothing, there's nothing. Zero, I have zero, can I take four? No, I can't, so I need to borrow. I borrow from this column and I place it here. So now 10 take away 4 is 6. 1 take away 1 is 0. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Now the trick is not to worry about these here. This here is a decimal, a decimal, a decimal. Okay, they can look scary. They need to be there because anything on this side of the decimal in money is a dollar and anything on this side is a cent. So as long as you line up your numbers, underline each other and your decimals underline each other, you can work out how to work out change. Let's have another go. Okay, this time, here's me. Here I am. And today I'm taking out Sid. Oh, there is Sydney. And we are going to the shops. And when we get to the shops, we decide that we are going to buy a a book. Okay? Sydney wants his book to read. And this book here, this one here, it costs two dollars and sixty-five cents. Okay. Well, here is Miss Phyllis, this is me, and I go to my purse, there is my purse, and inside my purse I have five dollars, I don't have any change at all. And I need to work out the change, how much money will I get back if I pay five dollars and the book only costs two dollars and sixty-five. Well, let's work it out. Okay, zero take five. I've got nothing. I can't take five from it, can I? So I need to borrow from the next column. Uh-oh, there's a zero. I can't borrow from there. So I need to borrow from the next column. I borrow from there. That becomes a four. And this becomes a one. Now, here, I can borrow from this column. So if I borrow from that column, this becomes a 9, and this becomes a 1. Now I can work out my sum. So 10 take away 5 equals 5. 9 take away 6 equals 3. 4 take away 2 equals 2. My change is $2.35.